dear student welcome to nilis patashala in this video we will be studying about deterministic finite automata in the previous video we understood what is a trap state and a dead state so a trap state is a final state to which all the transitions are looped to itself here q0 is the start state q1 is a final state n number of a's are looped in q0 and when the first b is encountered q0 moves to q1 that is the state moves from q0 to q1 and after that n number of a's and b's are looped in q1 itself so there is no transition happening from q1 to any other state so this is called a trap state because q1 is a final state the same if it happens to a non final state here q2 is a non final state where all the input symbols that is a and b is been looped to itself there is no transition happening from q2 to any other state so because q2 is a non final state we call this to be a dead state in this example b reaches the final state if the string has n number of b's or more than 1b then it goes to a non final state so we call this to be the dead state let us construct a dfa to accept strings of zeros and ones having exactly one zero so first let us analyze the given problem the accepting strings are only one zero or if it is having one zero or 01 or 101 or 110 or n number of ones but the entire string should have only one zero in it it can have n number of ones but the string should have only one zero in it the zero can either be in between or at the end or in the beginning of the string but there has to be only one zero in the entire length of the string it can have n number of ones but it should have only one zero only then the dfa has to accept the string what are the rejecting strings if there are two zeros or more than two zeros the strings have to be rejected so if i have 0 0 it should get rejected if i have 1 0 0 here i have two zeros it should be rejected the zeros can either be together or they can be apart if there is a second zero encountered in the string then the dfa has to reject the string so let us see step 1 is to identify the minimum string so the minimum string is only one zero has to be in the final state the input alphabets or the input symbols are nothing but zero and one so the skeleton to accept zero is nothing but q0 on input zero goes to q1 so the transition is nothing but delta q0 on input zero is going to q1 we have the transition table here q0 is the start state and q1 is the final state where q0 on zero is going to 1 in the fifth step let us complete the construction of the dfa and give its mathematical format so this is the skeleton diagram we know that if there is only one zero the string has to be accepted now if i have one zero or n number of ones and then if i have a zero then the string should be accepted so i am looping n number of ones in q0 and when i encounter one zero it is going to the final state next if i have n number of ones then 10 and again if i have n number of ones then that is also in the final state isn't it because the entire string is having only 10 here so i am having n number of ones then i have only 10 and after that i am having n number of ones so the string is been accepted i am looping ones in q1 itself i cannot give ones from q1 to q0 because if i have 101 one, 
the string has to be accepted if i give that one from q1 to q0 then what happens one gets here looped zero goes to final state and again if i have one it is coming to q0 which is a non final state so 101 should be accepted by the dfa but if i give one from q1 to q0 then the string is getting rejected because it will be in a non final state therefore i am looping n number of ones in q1 itself now if i encounter another zero so the string has to accept only one zero now if i get a second zero if there is another zero in my string then i am giving it to a non final state so the first zero and n number of ones will be in the final state when the string encounters a second zero it is going to a non final state that is q2 so after coming here n number of zeros or ones i can leave it in this dead state itself so i am giving all those zeros and ones in q2 itself because i have got a second zero so the string has to be rejected after that n number of zeros and ones also have to be rejected so i am putting all of them in a dead state so this is the completed transition table these are the transitions here so q0 on 0 goes to q1 q0 on 1 is looped to q0 itself q1 on 0 goes to q2 and then q1 on 1 is looped to q1 itself and q2 on 0 and q2 on 1 is looped to q2 itself the mathematical representation we have the states q0 q1 and q2 these are all the states the input symbols are 0 comma 1 q0 is the start state and f that is q1 is the final state let us look at another example here construct a dfa to accept strings of a's and b's with at most two consecutive b's so what is at most two consecutive b's mean the string can have maximum of two b's together if it is having three b's and more than three b's then the string should be rejected so maximum of two b's together can be accepted by the string so if there are no b's at all also a's also should be accepted by the string because it is at most two consecutive b's so a's also should be accepted or if i have only one b it should be accepted if i have b b that is two b's together this is the maximum the dfa should accept so b b also can be accepted if i have b b a b here i have three b's but still this can be accepted because there is a a in between so the b's are the three b's are not together i have b b a b so i have three b's but they are not consecutive b's which means there is a a in between consecutive b's means they are together so maximum of two b's can be together apart from that i can have n number of a's or n number of b's but i cannot have three b's and more than three b's coming together in the string so the rejecting strings are if i have three b's together they have to be rejected here i i have a b a b b and i have one more b if the last b was not present then this is a accepting string but here i have three b's together here also i have three b's together so wherever i have three or more than three b's even if i have four b's together or five b's together all these are rejecting strings so maximum of only two b's together should be accepted by the dfa so the first step is to identify the minimum string so i can have is two b's together so at most two consecutive b's together so the symbols are nothing but a and b that is the alphabet the input symbols are a and b so let us give the skeleton diagram if i have only one b also it should be accepted or if i have at most two b's together it should be accepted so this is the minimum skeleton
skeleton we need for the DFA. So these are the transitions Q0 on B is going to Q1 and Q1 on B is going to Q2. So here we have the states Q0, Q1, Q2. This is the start state and also the final state and these two are the final states. I have filled the two cells with respect to the skeleton DFA and transition. So now let us complete constructing the DFA and giving its mathematical format. So this is the skeleton diagram where if I have one B it is in a final state or if I have another B that is two Bs together are also in a final state. So when my DFA should reject a B if I get a third consecutive B. So at most two consecutive Bs are accepted. If I get another consecutive B, if I get B, 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 so the third B should be rejected. So I am giving the third B to a non-final state Q3 where it is getting rejected. So after that n number of A's and B's also will remain in Q3 itself because I have three consecutive B's and after that n number of A's and B's are also still a rejecting string. So I have given n number of A's and B's also to itself. Now if I have a string starting with n number of A's and then having B, B that is at most two consecutive B's. Let us take an accepting string where it is starting with A and having B, B. So I am looping A in Q0 and first B is accepted. A second consecutive B is also accepted. If I have a third consecutive B, it gets rejected. Now if I have a string B, A, A, B, this also has to be accepted. Or if I have B, B, A, B, this also has to be accepted. So let us see if I have a string B, A, A, B. So I have B, A, A, B. If I loop A in Q1, that is B, A, A, B. Yes, it is accepted. But if I have a string B, A, A, B, B, this also should be accepted by the DFA because I have only two consecutive Bs. So if I have B, A, A, B, B is getting rejected, which is supposed to get accepted is getting rejected. Therefore, I cannot loop A in Q1. Instead, I can give A from Q1 to Q0. So what happens if I have B, A, n number of A's and ending with B, B is still in a final state. If I loop A here, then even a accepting string is getting rejected. Now if I have a string B, B, A, B or if I have B, B, n number of A's and if I have a B, this is also an accepting string. If I loop that A in Q2, so B, B, A, B should be accepted. What happens? B, B, A gets looped in Q2 and another B is getting rejected. So B, B, A, B is an accepting string where B, B, A, B is getting rejected. So therefore, I can't loop A in Q2. Instead, what I can do is I can give that A back to Q0. So B, B, A, B that is B, B, A, B is in the final state. So at any point of time, n number of A's that is if it is in two consecutive B's, I am giving them to Q0. So when I encounter three consecutive B's, B, B and another B, it is going to a dead state. So there is no accepting strings that will enter into the final state. That is B, B, B can never go to a final state. So we have the transition table here and these are the transitions 
representing them in the mathematical format I have Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 and the input symbols are A, B. Q0 is the start state and Q0, Q1, Q2 are the final states. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.